A warm welcome back to Six Ashes for episode 44 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So here's where I'm at. I have leased, I didn't buy it, I've leased the Lemkin Solitaire 12 slash 8. I thought I'd get it in the class colours to match up with the uh, Zerion. Why not? Seeding has been done. Seeding planting. I know I always say that because it some things are being seeded, some are being planted, so to speak. We have done sunflower on fields 21 and 22. I've done sugar beet on field 16 and 14. And then I've put sunflower in on field 5, which was the one that was withered that we had to do some work on. That's now done. So what I'm going to do now is with the cedar, I'm going to do field 51 with canola. So we've got a bit of a spread of various different things. I have been listening to and trying out various different options with regard to the pellet situation appreciate everyone's advice a few things that people have suggested haven't worked personally for me whether i don't i don't know whether i did it wrong or i don't know but i have there we go so i'm going to try a few other things out I'm giving them everything a bit of a whirl and then I'll uh, try and settle on something that will work at the moment I was initially told to turn off the Alpine DLC which I did that didn't work I've now been told to turn off the Straw Harvest DLC <laughs> and to play for a bit, save it, then come out then and I'll not just deselect it, uninstall it completely I've had people telling me that I need to uninstall my entire game. But then I've had other people saying they uninstalled their game, reinstalled it, and had lost loads of stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so at the moment I'm trying the, uh, the straw harvest. So I thought I'd get my canola put in the ground. I'll save the game, I'll come out, and then we'll try it again. Luckily... My insurance is going to pay out. What it's going to pay out for is the rebuilding of the pellet hall. We'll see. And, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> very kindly, uh, Jackaroo, who is part of Creative Mesh and was also part of the Krona team for Farming Simulator League last season. I don't think it's this season works for Krona, as far as I'm worried does. Uh, he messaged to say that Creative Mesh, they're looking at it, they're trying to sort the problem out, and I, I wanted him to know, I don't know if he watches any of my videos, but he, he commented on a comment I put on Facebook to say that Six Ashes was on hold for the time being. I wasn't, I, I wasn't being, I wasn't trying to be rude or I wasn't calling Crave Mesh out or I wasn't, you know, trying to make him look bad or anything like that. I was just, I was just merely stating that there may be a bit of a hold on six ashes while I wait. Uh, and he very kindly came back and said, look, we are we are working on it, we're looking at it, we're trying to sort the problem out. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much, Jackaroo. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Fields that are done. We'll get this one sorted. I really I, I want to do the pellets. If, if, like I said, if that just all goes to pieces and it just cannot, will not work, uh, someone else messaged to say that it's not just the pellet hole, the, the actual... Well, it's actually, that's a weird one. Because I think the comment said that the pellet cell point wasn't working anymore. Well, the pellet cell point that comes with the straw harvest in an update doesn't take loose pellets anymore anyway. The whole point was a lot of the cell points will take pellets when you've got the straw harvest add-on or add-on straw harvest when you've got it installed and people were saying well what's the point of doing pallets if you can just do them loose and sell them anyway so the actual cell point you get with it is for pallets only and you were you were supposed to get a higher price there but then i'm pretty sure that in one of the updates after that didn't the prices get all screwed up? A lot of people complained and saying that something had happened and the prices were all wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's just a bit of a, you know, maybe I'm flogging a dead horse with it. 
In which case, I may turn my attention back to logging, like I said, I don't know, uh, while my crops are growing. I need some work to do while, uh, yeah, while everything's doing its thing. Uh, I can cut more grass, I can absolutely do that. My animals are still doing their thing, which is where I need them to be. They're still making me money. They're still producing manure, I'm still getting eggs. The pigs are still growing, I'm selling them off as soon as they get to the right weight, so I'm I've got a rolling cycle of pigs being sold. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update. We'll see what happens with regard to the insurance payout, I'll have a check in, we'll see. and We'll get another one put in, if that doesn't work. We'll cut our losses, we'll cut and run. Apologies, I know people will often come and say, you sound really different on your video today. I am so bummed up, my sinuses have gone mad this morning. I have no idea why. Oh dear, anyway. I'll see you later on. This will be done. And uh, hopefully we've got some better news. <laughs> we shall see, won't we? Thank you for GB, who messaged me as well. Very much appreciated, thank you. It's day five. It's late spring. It's just gone 6.15 in the morning. I'm going around mucking out the animals, checking on everything to make sure the animals are healthy, everything's looking all right, we're doing okay. The uh, cows at the other dairy farm are ticking over, producing manure at quite a rate. They are eating through their hay silage, hay pellets and grass, but total mixed ration is fine. I might need to do something about that. Our uh, sheep are up to 96. Weirdly though, we're up to 96, but... Um, Wool production doesn't seem to have gone up. We were at, what, 53 last year? We haven't quite doubled the herd size, but bear in mind we're in spring and this is when we're getting our wool. We don't, it doesn't seem to have increased much, if at all. But I suppose if there's a lot of young ones in there, they won't necessarily. And then our pigs, where we are now, we're up to 259. I've been looking through and we've got a load that are ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a trailer. And we're going to do it that way around, because that should be working now. We should be able to take them to the livestock market, so we'll give that a go. But first of all, I need to clean them out. Uh, as far as, oh yeah, crops, that's what I was going to say. I got field 50, 51 planted, as you can see, with canola. And what's interesting to note is when we go uh, from our fields here, which I did 21 and 22 sunflower, and I did field 5 sunflower, but they were just outside the temperature window. They're in the planting window, but when I put them in the ground, they were just outside. Um, I did sugar beets here on 16 and 14. So the sugar beet and the canola were in the temperature window, but the sunflowers weren't. So if I go across now and look at growth, the sugar beet and the canola that I planted last are showing as growing, but my sunflower that was outside the temperature window is saying planted. Now hopefully that's going to germinate now because if we go along to our temperature actually we don't need to look at that, we can look at one up there don't we? Ground temperature is 7 degrees which is what it needed to be so hopefully sometime today if not into tomorrow the sunflower fields will germinate. That's that's always the plan, but then this is six ashes, so who knows what's going to happen. Um, I have been doing a bit of... Um, no, if you remember, when I started off, I wasn't, I wasn't a farmer at all. I was furloughed from work, and I decided to do some work for local farmers, which is what I did. So those pigs in the way. And um, it kind of escalated from there, really. So I've been doing some online courses in game and i've been doing some stuff on the environment uh, agency with regard to um soil sampling and better use of ground and you know all those kind of things 
no-till, looking at all different options and, and ways of improving. Now this is the other problem I've got, is this is still not taking pig food. If I put it in, you'll notice it kind of puts it on top. Well, you might notice, we'll see. Is that seriously taking it now? <laughs> Let's double check. I bet it's taking it, hasn't it? No, it hasn't. Look, the soybean, canola, sunflower bit just hasn't moved. Because um, I tried to do it the other day. Yeah, look, you can see it spilled out the front. It's not taking pig food. Um, I, I can't seem to get that third bar to fill up now. All I'm going to have to do is try and do it with one of those particular crops specifically. For some reason, it just won't do it. A lot of people said, oh, it's because you're trying to do it. Um, I did it with the um, CSZ pack. And because it wasn't on pallet forks, it's not registering. I tried it with pallet forks. I tried all the ways around. It's just not taking it for some reason. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to go and grab a trailer. And then let's get some of these taken to the livestock market. We'll make a little bit more money. My money is going up gradually every day. And that's because of owning the fisheries. That's because I've got the um, allotment. I've got the beehives at the, um, at the allotment. And I've also got the fruit trees, which are paying out as well. As long as I keep on top of the manure there and the water there. So that's a regular thing. It's just ticking over, which is quite handy. And I've said it before on various different um, farms that I've done. That if you can bring in a little bit of money with something, even if that just covers hiring a worker or it covers a bit of seed or a bit of fertilizer, that's money that's not technically. I mean, it is coming out of your bank account. Of course, it's coming out of your bank account because all this money is in your bank account. But you're not having to find that from somewhere. You've kind of, it's, it's just there. It's ticking over and it's making life a bit easier. So I'm more than happy that that's working out all right. I was really hoping I would get a harvest contract pop up because the other worrying thing is, if you think back to, was it year two? Or it might have been year one. When I had one of those harvest contracts, I think it was year two. Yeah, it was when I did that dodgy with the straw, wasn't it? And I took the straw off the field as well. All that wheat I had as a surplus crop that I've been using to feed my chickens, I'm down to my last 2,200 litres, and both chicken pens are getting through more than that in a day. So if I, if I don't get a contract soon, I'm going to have to buy some chicken feed. Which again isn't the end of the world, because what I've been making from the eggs has more than covered any outlay for, that I'm going to need for chicken feed. So. Again, I don't mind at all. Anyway, back to the environment agency. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of you know online research and work and doing some courses and stuff just to hopefully become a better farmer, you know. And um, looking at soil sampling. Um, but, and here's the interesting thing. Wait for it. There are opportunities available. Those opportunities I'm going to be doing through the Environment Agency and it's to do with a part of the world that's a bit controversial. Um, <clears throat> now, for some of you younger ones you may not know anything about it, but a certain part of what used to be part of the um, Soviet states, which when they all kind of separated became its own country, and that would be Ukraine. And if anyone knows anything about Ukraine and what happened in Ukraine with the incident at... Now everyone, again we're going to get this, everyone's going to say, it's not wrong. Chernobyl. Now I always say Chernobyl. People, my family, there was a brilliant series recently. Um, it, was on t it was on TV, but we watched it um, on I don't know, one of the streaming services. And it was brilliant. If you haven't seen it, and it was, some of my kids said Chernobyl. I've always said Chernobyl. Regardless. But the nuclear incident, accident, the series is amazing. Just incredible. And like I said, for a lot of youngsters out there, you might not know anything about it. It's always been that, that thing that when I worked at the school and I would refer to stuff when we did history lessons or just in general kind of, you know, I would say something. And kids would look at you completely blank. Even like when I was working with the, the year six kids that were sort of 10, 11 years old. And you'd mention something and they'd go, what? Even even 9-11. You know, you'd mention something like the Twin Towers, 
but they were that young they didn't remember it they had no recollection no knowledge it's like wow that's quite scary when i was an instructor with the air training corps and you would mention stuff about the falklands war and so again kids at the air cadets were like what <laughs> what's that like, wow okay that's quite scary but then i guess i'm an old person now <laughs> i've mentioned that a lot recently is do you think that's on my mind anyway that being said the environment agency thing oh i need to go and get a trailer i don't know why i left that there uh, let's tip that to there. Do that. Yeah, anyway, so there are there are some opportunities through an environment agency to go and do some work in the Ukraine. Doing soil sampling and testing. It's been a long time. However, these things don't go away. <laughs> radiation and stuff stays in the ground and you know so i might well take him up on it that's incredible how in that wow i wasn't expecting that so soon the canola to already be growing blimey okay i suppose each day is 15 days isn't it so yeah it would do wouldn't it wow yeah, so I might go and you know do a bit of research work, do a bit of soil sampling, try and sort of you know have, have a look at the situation. I'm thinking the farm here. I'm not. I'm not leaving the farm. My wife's here. She's at the main farm. There's a lot of guys. A lot of guys down the pub that all you know either have their own farms or are looking for seasonal work and that kind of thing. Who are on all more than happy to help out so yeah at the moment it's an idea yeah I'm, I'm kind of thinking i might do that it will be a short-term thing i'll be out there on a work visa and you know but yeah hmm. you can probably see where this is going but at the moment it's a seed of an idea right trailer sorry i'm Waffling again, I'm just, again just trying to kind of put it out there. What the ideas, my thought process, where I'm going. The um, the lovely guys here at the New Holland dealership. This has been sitting here for well, we're getting on for almost a year now. <laughs> well, actually, to be fair, I think when did I get it? Was it summer? Ready for doing harvest work? They have been more than happy to have it in the showroom as a showroom piece. Um, obviously, it's now a year old, but there have been some updates which New Holland have been very happy to like to keep it here in the store to use it as a showroom piece they have done a few little upgrades and bits and bobs here and there which is very nice i do appreciate that but hopefully fingers crossed soon we're going to be able to use it who knows okay i've gone for my standard model it should hold 12 pigs, I believe. Please work after all this. <laughs> it's all supposed to be okay now. The livestock market should be taking uh, deliveries. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Let's open the cover. Get that open. Let's back that in. I've done this a few times, but it is the day to day. It is part and parcel of what we need to do. And what I need to do now is go through. You now, the male pigs will. Um, do grow much quicker so what i need to do now is go through we're looking for they're all the new births at 3.5 pounds 280 pounds all over i know i have some some of them actually much bigger and on my original 10 still got them 
There we go, we've got a 311 there. Some that are not far off. Right, there's my originals. So my 1 through 10. Then we've got, a, there we go, so. 314, 313, 310, 314, 308, 306, 310, 306, 314. Nice. 362. That would be ironic if that's all of them and we've managed to fit them all into one trailer load. I think it is. Everything now is under 280. Confirm. Well, there you go. Something worked. That's that's incredible. That's 12 and it worked. Hooray! What we'll do now is just double check. We are left with 247. Uh, all right. Let's just say yes. Let's just say yes for the time being, shall we? 7.35. I'm already way ahead of myself this morning. It's all looking good. I will keep an eye on the crops today. I mean, it is late spring, but we did have a few winter crops in. And when we bought the other dairy farm, we did inherit. Um, we have got loads of fields that are in their final growth stage. But like I say, I, I just don't seem to be picking up any harvest contracts locally. Maybe I don't have a reputation for harvesting at the moment and farmers won't take a chance, but who knows, you know, fingers crossed something like that. might occur. I will, I'm going to double check. I just want to double check. No. <laughs> Nothing really to harvest. Maybe tomorrow. As we move into summer, we might get an early harvest of something. We are not going to make huge amounts of money from these, but it is a rolling process. Could I make more money selling the crops I feed them than actually selling the pigs? Again, maybe we're back to that same question of economics. You know, I've said this so many times before as well. If you're coming on to play this game, if you're going to come on and do farming, and your sole goal is to make as much money as you possibly can then you can pick one thing and just do that and make a ton of money generally speaking on most maps that would be silaging but not always on this one wood chips pays out well on some maps logging pays out well you know it depends what it might be and ju then just do that until you've made a load of money but like i said before if you're going to do that then why not just put in government subsidy signs and just then say, right, well, I've got millions, let's buy everything on the map. And, you know, there has to be somewhere in between, doesn't there? And for me, it's about playing. What's that opening? Please work. Please. Come on. This wasn't working for so long. Okay, animal trailer. Why are we not? Oh, yeah, I up. Don't know. There we go. So, 7336. Three. They're paying out all right, aren't they? They're Yorkshires. Oh, mind you, that said. To buy... Oh, mind you, if you buy the Yorkshires there for a thousand, that would be like breeding stock, really, a year old. These are a little bit smaller. It's interesting, though. The ones that you buy are 419 pounds. Well, I guess, guess that's the thing, is it? We're doing farrow to finish. And as a finished animal... These aren't going to go on to be breeders. I mean, they might do. They might go with someone else. The females might go off somewhere else and be breeders. But that's not the point. We're just here to sell them. It worked! Yes! Right, that's good to know. Well, I guess I'm now probably going to see you when... I think maybe there's a crop to harvest maybe there's some cows that will need harvesting because it is just going to be ticking over now I'll keep looking after the animals 
until something magical or tragical happens. We shall see. I'm, I'm fingers crossed for magical. That would be nice. I'm fed up with the tragical. Let's get something magical. A nod to Hazy there. I am such an idiot, but also potentially saved. Uh, I meant to say, um, I did get reimbursed. Uh, the insurance paid out for the building, which then paid for the building of another one, which then also became a ghostly husk and crumbled to nothing. So unfortunately, yeah, I'm back to where I am. Uh, thank you to everyone that commented to say they wouldn't mind, it wouldn't make any difference to them if the money just came back, because it would be only right I'm not too I'm not too strapped at the moment potentially <laughs> at some point if I really really need it now I was saying earlier on that I only had 2,000 litres of wheat left that was based upon me taking wheat out of the silo up at CJ Farms and I stupidly didn't even check on the menu like the screen so I was just collecting the manure from the pig farm to take up to put on the fruit trees and I thought well, rather than dump it on the floor I'll stick it in the silo up there at CJ Farms clicked on here and thought hang on a minute I've got 28,428 litres of wheat but it's over at the original silo site where the farmhouse is what I've also realised from a harvest I did in year one with that little green John Deere I've got 3,520 3, litres of sunflower, which is what the pigs need. So what I might do is just bring over a bucket, take a load of that, and see if it will take just the sunflower. If it does, then I know it's not a problem overall. It's just going to be, obviously, it requires the specific crop rather than just taking pig food. I've got a bit of corn there as well, but that's on a bit of them all right. So what I'm going to do is grab the wheat from this silo, take it up to CJ Farms, because that's where my chickens are, um, so I might have to, I, I can hold out a bit longer, oh okay, doesn't like that. Isn't that weird, my other eyes because I've come up and... Are we up at an angle slightly? Maybe, will it still do it? Mm, maybe, we'll, we'll do the best we can. Um, so... Straw pellets? Wait. And I'll take that back up. Stick it in the silo over there. Whew. Means we can go a few more days feeding the chickens. <laughs> Which is good. So, um, yeah, what I'll also do is grab the... Uh, what time is it now? Three o'clock in the afternoon. Still nothing to harvest. I will try the soybean situation. No, the sunflower situation with the pigs. And this time I'll see you probably tomorrow, day six. Again, I just thought I don't want people suddenly go, hang on a minute. I thought he said he had 2,000 litres of wheat and now he hasn't got a worry anymore. Should have checked my silos, shouldn't I? Should have checked everywhere first before panicking. <laughs> Running around, nailing planks of wood across doorways and window frames and stuff like that.
more time has passed. It's day one. It's early summer. My animals are doing great. I've been just plodding on, feeding them, mucking them out, doing the things you do. And um, something has changed. We get to use the harvester. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's only been sitting here a year. So two of the fields that we inherited when we bought the other uh, dairy farm. Now I'm again I'm hoping this Crisoni works on this. I got it again because it's narrow, great for getting down the lanes and turning in and out and that kind of stuff. But it unfolds and we should be absolutely I can't believe we're getting to finally use the harvester. It seems like a simple thing, but if you've been watching the rest of the series you'll know the trials and tribulations we've had the time we've had to wait i'm just hoping it's going to get up that steep slope out of there might do anyway uh let's have a look so field two has got wheat in it field six has got wheat in it we are going to swath as well um i don't know if i'm going to bale the straw or just i'm going to collect it and store it anyway you can never have too much then if I, if I need it for anything or inside i want to pellet it yeah okay um and sell it although i am getting these little bits as you can see field five my sunflower fields uh where are we are now growing which is all wonderful as far as contracts go still got nothing come up for for harvesting which is weird because this morning first thing this morning at 6 a.m when these both popped up as ready to harvest field seven was ready to harvest field 29 was ready to harvest 13 was and so was 42 so I kind of carried on doing my thing, as you do, and um, for some bizarre reason, they then went from that to harvested, almost immediately. So I'm assuming the farmers that own those fields got out nice and quick, nice and early, got them done. Again, there was no need for me to be employed to go and harvest, but... At last... No, no I won't be. Don't worry. I don't. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Maybe. Yeah, we're speeding up again. It's just that first little bit is so steep and I couldn't smooth it out anymore. This should bring us out pretty much right by field two. Uh, I've already brought up the Zerion with the uh, trailer and our field here, 71, I think it is 71. It's almost there. I would say maybe tomorrow, day two, we might be ready to do that. Oh, look at that. It's a lovely sight, isn't it? Our cornfield, field one, shouldn't be far off. It does mean the chickens are going to be absolutely no problem at all moving forward. Now, it's also the first year, I mean, well, middle of year three now. Well, not middle, but you know, year three, that I haven't had to worry about grass. I haven't had to worry about making hay because I've got loads of loose hay stored in the hay lofts. I've got a load of bales. I've got silage. I've got TMR mixed. I've got so much stuff on hand, which brings me back around again to that whole preparation. You know, year one into year two, prepping resources, doing field work, storing stuff, baling it, putting it all away, was for this reason, that you get to a point where maybe this year, if I don't get through it all, I might get to a point in my dairy cows where they start using more TMR because I've filled up the trough but it seems to be okay that um, they're going to start using more and more but I have got a load in storage so we're okay to start off with we should be okay I'm just thinking I'm gonna... that gate's in the way a little bit isn't it it opens well it's not the wrong way is it if I can just make sure the wheels don't go onto there back up out the way voiding crops both sides and maybe get that gate closed I know it seems like a silly thing to do but I think the head is going to open up more will that swing? no, we should be right now just thinking the arc of the gate not the arc of the covenant that's something completely different the arc of the gate we're all right, we're good so I love these Crisoni headers it's Crisoni time, let's unfold. 
there's something just every time I do that with the Crisoni head, there's something majestic and and oh, majestic. That's the wrong word. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's just awesome. <laughs> It's not a massive header, it doesn't need to be. These aren't massive fields. Uh, we need to open the harvester, I always forget to do that. And... No, that's pipe. Oh, every time. Every time. Disable straw swath. Enable. We want it enabled, of course we do. Why can I never remember that that is L1 and right on the D-pad? Okay, I don't think I'm going to get much off of it, but again, that doesn't matter. We are getting straw, we are getting wheat, we are harvesting. <sighs> again, this is probably, you know, I, I know from all the various different farming YouTubers that I watch, there must be something incredibly satisfying and it must make you happy when you know you get to that point where all your hard work everything you've done pays off you get out onto the field with your harvesters because this is the point isn't it of doing it all is to get your crops unless you're you know livestock farmer you don't do arable but it's that you know all the hard work all the prep all the fertilizing that you know if you're doing soil sampling all of the, the planting and the you know making sure everything's okay and hopefully the weather doesn't cause you problems and that kind of thing. This is what it's about, getting out into the field and then bringing in your harvest. Obviously you still want it to yield well, you want to do well, then you've got the thing of, you know, then take it to market if you've already got something already lined up. You know, if you've got people that work with you to prepare that and you've got contracts in place and that kind of thing. But um that's cool. It's cool, cool, cool. Sign me songs, aren't they? We do at last, at last, at last, and at last. Finally, CC Peniston, do a bit of that. Um, what else? I'm not going to do. I've got a brand new combine harvester. That's uh, VF's one. VF likes to sleep out when he does his streaming, so I'm not going to do that. I'm really not good to anyway. Oh, such a relief. Let me get more off this than I thought, actually. I'm pretty sure I did fully fertilise it. When we took over the, the other dairy farm, I came out and did all the fertilisers that needed to do, and I don't think any of them needed liming. But also, it does mean once I've done the harvest and I've collected the straw in whatever way I'm going to do that, I'm going to... Um, I'm then back onto field prep again, which again gives me more jobs to do. So I've gone through that period of, you know, scratching around. Again, I say scratching around, I'm not scratching around, I'm looking after my livestock. You know, I'm doing all the, you know, all the things you would do, which obviously you don't do in game. But I think for me, watching Tom Pemberton, and I mention him a lot, but it's that day-to-day -day stuff of dealing with livestock, you know, having the vets coming out, dealing with hooves, um, boluses, you know, putting, giving them the vitamins and health checks and all the things you need to be doing on a day to day. Clearing out the slurry tanks, moving slurry from one tank to another, getting out on the fields, you know, all, all the things that are just kind of in the background. They need to be done, they get done. I know in game we don't do them, but if you're, if you're story lining it in some way, that's, I know, you know, you might be out fence repair or you might you, you might be out to fence repair you might be out doing fence repair or repairing fences pick whichever one you'd rather field six is much bigger so i think what i might do if we get a, a good price for wheat at some point i might sell a load because I think what we're going to get off both these fields is going to be way more than I need for the chickens. So potentially we'll sell a load. I'm sure time will tick away very, very quickly today just doing these two fields. It's actually probably better that way than if they'd all happened at the same time. Because again, 
I'm only on day one early summer. If tomorrow field 71's ready, that'd be great. If my corn field pops up, that's not too big. And then hopefully as we roll through summer in towards autumn, and then the fields that we did in spring may pop up towards late autumn, it will hopefully spread it out nicely that we don't then risk fields withering and all that kind of stuff. It did rain yesterday, but not for very long. I was kind of worried. I thought it'd be just my luck. My fields will come up ready to harvest and it would just pour with rain all day. But we are getting a bit of good luck at the moment. It's what we need. It's what we need. Okay, well I'm going to get this done. I'm glad I, I wasn't going to bring the trailer over. I don't know why, but the, the field looked really small, but now the harvest is in it, it doesn't seem as small as I thought. So I thought, oh, I'm not going to fill the harvester up. Um, I'll just leave it in the yard at the other dairy farm and I'll just put into the trailer when I go through the yard on the way through to field six. But actually, I am going to fill it, so I'm glad I brought the trailer over. I've been doing on here I've been doing um, silage and hay for my total mix ration I haven't been using straw I've just been storing that for bedding and that kind of thing normally I would I'd be grabbing straw everywhere I could get it because I would be using it as part of my total mix ration but I think was it what happened there because the, oh, because the first year I struggled to get any that was why I thought oh, I'll just switch the mix, I'll change it. I suppose I could, if I'm going to make more now, start padding it out with salt mix ration, uh, with, um, with straw, well, to make it go further. But again, that's, that's by the by at the moment. I think we should be all right. I'll see you. I'll see you in field six when I'm done here. See how much we've got for lucky. We might fill that trailer more than once. Field 2 is complete and as you've already seen I grabbed the uh, Bergman Repex whoa, 34, well, it's 34,000 litres we're going to gather the straw loose so we, I am I'm now going to head through the main farm and we're going to go up to field 6 get that started I've unloaded twice I think we must be up to about 19 possibly 20,000 litres off that fairly small field which is pretty good Field 6 will yield a lot more. The dairy cows are doing magnificently here. I do have those two massive grass fields. I suppose what I should really do, even if I don't end up using it, is do a big old cut and maybe put it into the bunker silo up here. 
two fields right there and I've got a bunker silo I might as well have a load of silage on hand see how much manure they're producing it is absolutely crazy and I'm using manure regularly for doing the fruit trees it's just getting through so much but I'm not knocking it it's absolutely brilliant right let's open it up again I'll do a headland round, maybe a couple, and then I can get a worker going, then I'll bring over the trailer ready to unload. When that's good to go and this is carrying on, because it's a much bigger field, I'll then carry on clearing the the swath off the field. Oh yeah, that was what I was going to say was, if I'm quick about this, <laughs> if I'm quick about this, I am still in the planting window for soybean and corn. Now I've been here before. Although I was on day two summer, I think. If I can get those fields re-prepped, I could get corn in both of those. Potentially. <laughs> I could get corn in both of them today. Field two and this one. If I'm quick about it. Which at the moment, obviously, I'm chatting. I'm not being quick about it. But I could do. Actually, I'm just thinking, do I want to just think if I swath this and I've got to clear all the swath off before I can do anything with the field? I do have a lot of straw ready. You know what I'm going to do? Let's disable straw swath. I'm good. I think it's more about trying to get another crop in the ground than. Do I need straw? Look at those cows, they're looking good. Isn't it strange how something as simple as moving forward and, and getting to the next stage, the next step, boosts your spirits? I know a lot of people were saying I seemed really kind of down and flat on the last couple of episodes, and I was, I was kind of... I was at my wit's end, and I was, I was a bit kind of lost and thinking, you know... I am doing my animals day to day, and you know, but I need my crops to be ready. And it was that lull, and unfortunately, that lull comes with seasons, you know. And you get that lull again in winter when you've done your harvest, and you you might have done a bit of field prep, and the ground freezes, and then you've got that period of what do I do, you know? And I'm only doing six day seasons. You're only doing nines, or you know, even further up. You know, that I can't imagine what you would spend every day doing, you know. It wouldn't bother me to do days and days and days of logging. But obviously that doesn't make for particularly interesting viewing. So I think, at this point, on a high at last. <laughs> and again, that's no disrespect to GP. It's just the way things have turned out for me. You now with mistakes with the geo that I made, with weather, with different... It's, it's not the map, it's not, you know... I know a couple of people commented, oh, well, you know, that's the problem, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not the map at all. It's things I did, you know. It's, it's having seasons on. It's having, you know, all the variables that come into play have caused different issues, you know. It is the way it is. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. We've probably got a couple more to go, I would say, before I potentially go and do some... No, I'm just thinking, actually, in my head, I'm thinking, I was talking about soil sampling, where I want to go to... Is it precision farming ready? Oh, I bet it's not. Never mind. Anyway, if you know, leave it in the comments. Just drop it in the comments. If, you, if you've got an idea what map I'm going to, um, and it, is it precision farming ready? Anyway, hit that like button. Anyway, if you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.